It's not just about um, Judge Brown Jackson. It's about all of us. And she understands that and we understand that. So we support her. But during these confirmation hearings, I think that there is a lack of cultural competency, cultural exposure is that, you know, when you're a black person and, you know, you're, you're becoming the the archetype as opposed to the prototype, there is a responsibility that you have around bringing your community with you. And I think that that is lost, that has been lost in the confirmation hearings, um, but we can tell that, we can listen and we can read between the lines and know that she's definitely down for us as um, oppressed people in the United States and definitely believes that the saying by Fannie Lou Hamer, none of us are free until all of us are free. Yes. So what do you think about the vote in particular for Brown? The Senate voted 53 yes and 47 no, with only three Republicans voting yes. Uh, what are your thoughts about how deeply political this vote was? Oh, yeah, I think, um, you know, as a, a Black feminist scholar, we understand that our bodies are political. We understand that. And I think Katanji knew that going into this process um, and understanding uh, the current sociopolitical context and what's happening. So that's something that um, we don't take lightly. I don't think that she took that lightly entering this process, but then also understanding that um, it's a system and the system was designed to do uh, one thing. And what we're attempting to do by putting a black woman in one of the highest courts of the land is not what the system was designed to do. 